everyone namaste my name is shira mayer from the commodity research desk at uh, reliance securities this is the weekly gold outlook so as we know gold prices have uh, remained range bound over the last few weeks in fact uh, over the past 6 weeks or so gold june active uh, which is the active contract uh, active futures contract uh, on comex right now is trading between was trading between extremely in a narrow trading band of 1970 on uh, on the lower side to 2020 a 50 dollar range and in the 6 weeks we see 100 dollar range after a recent spike of course uh, at the height of last month's banking crisis uh, markets were pricing in a, uh, in a potential rate cut by the fed which pushed the prices all the way up to 2044 in the international side uh, so recent consolidation is not a surprise for us uh, uh, recently data has also remained mixed from the us side of things so it is not a surprise that gold prices has come off from the recent highs and it is also not surprising that the recent spike has also uh, seen that uh, we also seen that the recent spike had also prompted investors to book some profits ahead of that important may meeting next week so markets are uh, now comfortable in fact gold has remained comparatively resilient uh, prices n- have not seen a big fall Uh, despite slightly uh, mixed numbers from us uh, markets are now comfortable with the idea that the fed is not done hiking rates of course most of the markets have factored in are fully priced in a 25 basis points uh, in the month of may but markets are also pushing back the timing of any potential rate cuts by the end of this year as i mentioned uh, markets were early factoring in a rate cut by uh, as early as june so markets are now in a comfortable uh, uh, range now and uh, will look ahead to the incoming data so data this week uh, pointed to a weak us consumer confidence numbers but the key trigger will be the inflation uh, the fed favored pc price index is scheduled this week along with other numbers uh, us gdp is also expected out this week along with um, uh, core durable goods so all this uh, all this data will have a definite impact on the markets of course the key trigger will be the inflation uh, the inflation will be the key and elevated inflation will keep the federal reserve from loosening its monetary policy anytime will will keep the federal reserve uh, from loosening its monetary policy anytime soon which all we we which we know that uh, it is a kind of negative for gold prices and we see more correction if indeed uh, elevation uh, rem- uh, if indeed uh, inflation remains elevated on the other hand uh, just this week refinitiv uh, reported that plunging deposits in first republic bank and uh, ubs also reporting a 50% slide in the quarterly income Uh, is a key reminder to the financial markets that stability risks have still not entirely died down so this some so we expect that uh, this, uh, due to this weak sentiments in the market mark, uh, investors will be risk averse ahead of that fed so we see some safe haven bids will keep uh, the downside extremely limited for the gold and silver prices going forward at least for another week till the uh, till the uh, fed uh, meeting is uh, out next week so ahead of the numbers uh, we see that the markets uh, will continue to remain range bound but after the data markets could test key supports and key resistances depending on the data as i mentioned inflation will be a key trigger so depending on that markets can test some certain levels for the week though we expect the mcx june contract uh, on the domestic side remaining between 59700 59800 on the lower side to 60400 60500 on the upside of things after data there is a possibility of, of breaks on either side similarly we see the international markets remaining between 1970 and 2025 uh, uh, per ounce this week ahead of data and ahead of that fed meeting and of course after the meeting and after the data that range can also be broken out so i think it will be ex- extremely range bound uh, price action for both uh, gold and silver in the coming week or so so that's it uh, from uh, our side uh, thank you very much for uh, listening uh, have a pleasant week ahead thank you